Okay, so we are here and we are working on the What we're doing here is we're cleaning out the uh, yeah, we're rinsing the uh, the bolt hole on the head uh, trying to free any debris out of it with the air compressor and that's what we're doing what I did was I uh, used the die and uh, tap, re-tap the uh, holes so that the threads would be okay uh, so like we uh, condition the thread and so now what we're doing now is we are blowing air into the those bolt holes so that the uh it'll blow out all of the um, shavings and metal stuff that's not supposed to be in there out and this is my younger brother uh so that's what we're doing that's what you have to do to free debris inside uh, it's good if you have a air so you could uh, do this and you can see the debris out, well, the brake cleaner actually, and whatever's inside. Look at that, look at his hand, that was a crud. And so that's that. After this, then we'll put the head get on, and then we're gonna put the uh, engine head in there. You can wipe that down. Okay, so anywho. See this eye shield right here? It's so important that if you're doing this job that you have to have an eye shield like this. So the face shield, it used to look like this, okay? But basically the reason why it's like this, it's why this is broken is because we uh, use the air uh, compressor to blow out the crud in here. And uh, as the brake cleaner flies off into this shield, I don't know what happened, but it just broke the shield. So always protect your face. You want to blow the cylinder with the uh, air too? I already did it. Okay. Okay, so my bro is going to install the head gasket. Check for fit before you pull it off. Yep. And... Uh, See. Don't bend your head gaskets. Yep. It's the wrong one. Oh, dude. No, we need a new one. <laughs> okay. okay. So, I'm going to get the heads. Okay, so this is the uh, rebuilt head, and as you can see, it's really clean. Um, so they're telling me that everything is rebuilt to spec. So we'll see what happens. We're gonna take out all these bolts back out, and then we're gonna position this into the um, engine block, and then after that, we'll bolt all these back on. So I'm going to fast forward this. Okay, so we have just Give me a new head bolt. Yeah, put the uh, engine in, and these are the head bolts that I have here. Oh shoot! Okay, hold on. I'm gonna fast forward this. Okay, so my bro and I, we are now installing the head bolts. 
by dipping this thing in oil so that it'll be lubricated. Okay, so we are going to be torquing down the head bolts right now, and we're going to torque the first head bolt down to 26 pounds. The reason is because we're making a compensation for an extension adapter right there. So uh, the direction calls for 20, 25 foot pounds. Four. 24. So now my brother's going to. following that direction right there uh -huh. and the numbers there there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so that's what we're doing so I'm gonna forward this so that you can see what we're doing Okay, so now, um, as you look here, we have torqued it to spec, okay? So now, the direction calls us to um, use an angle gauge, and so we have this little generic angle gauge right here. Um, you can buy it at your local um, AutoZone uh, local store, auto parts store, and we're going to use this as an angle indicator for us. So the, dire the direction calls us to tighten every single bolt the first round to a 90 degree angle. And then after that, when everything is tightened to a 90 degree angle, it wants us to tighten one more time to another 90 degree angle, totally 180 degree angle. Uh, you know, this is for all the uh, head bolts. So that's what we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna fast forward this so that you know uh, how we're gonna how we do this. Okay, so we are ready to do our dirty deed. So we're just adjusting the Other bolt, and we're gonna do first 90 degree right there as well. All right.
Okay, so we're gonna fast forward this. Okay guys, so we got this thing installed and so uh, what I'm going to do now is I am going to be installing the timing belt and after that I'm going to be installing the platinum and uh, we'll go on from there. That was pretty fun um, working with my brother. So stay tuned for the next part.